All right, T-Bird here with another uh, installment of Lobster Tales. I uh, got. I'm Goose, and I'm playing Mega Man and half-heartedly listening in the background. Well, you better listen up because this is a great one. This is the Visitor by the Fire. All righty. In 1895, up in New England, there was an old house in the backwoods. One night, just one night, a young man and woman sat inside the supper table together with a hound dog laying at the young man's feet. The young the couple ghosts. were eating bread and grape jam. Good end to supper, Penny dear, the young man said to the young woman and smiled at her. Thank you, Samuel, Penny replied to him. Penny drank a glass of water and Samuel drank a bottle of Jack Daniel's whiskey. Then Samuel's wife got out and cleared the table. Penny went out into the kitchen. Her husband looked down under the table at their hound dog. Good boy, Pete, Samuel said to the dog and grinned, petting him. Pete got up and walked over to the window. Looking out, the dog saw a squirrel scurry across the grass. Pete barked at it. What is it, boy? See something? Samuel asked Pete and took a drink from his bottle of Jack Daniel's whiskey. <laughs> later, on, <laughs> later on that night... Samuel, Penny, and Pete were all asleep in a bedroom with Pete... With, oh, wait, sorry. Later on that night, Samuel, Penny, and Pete were all asleep in a their bedroom with Pete curled up on a blanket on the floor. There was a noise of thumping out by the fireplace. What? P Pete woke up hearing it and went to see what it was. The thumping noise was coming from under the floor by the fireplace. Pete began growling at the thumping in the dark. All of a sudden, a skeletal hand shot up out of the floor, making a hole in it as well as in the ground. A zombie crawled out of the grave in white smoke that came out of it as well. The zombie was also a skeleton, and it stretched its old, decayed bones in all directions. Pete growled louder, but as the corpse stood in the darkened room around the white smoke, it leaned over with a crack and pet him. Pete stopped growling and started panting and wagging his tail at the zombie. The skeleton grinned down at the hound dog with an eerie, grinning skull. A half an hour later, Samuel awoke and saw a fire glowing out in the fireplace. He quietly got out of the bed and walked to out to the fireplace. Pete was chewing on a human finger bone on the floor beside a chair by the fireplace. Samuel, Actually, it's like something he does. <laughs> Samuel looked and saw someone sitting in the chair, warming their hands by the fire. They poked their head around to face him, but the head was the skull of the zombie. Good evening, sir. Your home was built on my grave on accident, so I climbed out of it earlier tonight, and I am letting your nice hound dog chew on one of my finger bones. I hope you do not mind that I built a fire and I am warming my old decayed bones, the skeleton explained to Samuel in a whispery Very voice matter of factly. <laughs> and grinned at him. Is that it? That's it. Oh, wow. That is the story. Well, that was something special. What'd you think? <laughs> I liked the end, but I uh, thought it was going to be going somewhere other than that. I guess it was supposed to be a lot scarier. Yeah, I don't know. It just <laughs> that uh, I just can't. Uh, yeah, I just had to read that one. All right, <laughs> signing off for now.